This video is for educational purposes only and only competent persons should attempt the installations shown in this video. Hey, this is Bill for Sparky Channel and welcome to another edition of House Renovation Time. And I was putting on a wall sconce, I was replacing a wall sconce and I found this particular wiring arrangement in this box. It's a lighting box, which was on a wall. Uh, sconces or lights on a wall and notice there are two white wires and those two white wires were attached to the white and the black wires of the light that was on the wall so I saw this I thought boy this is a good teachable moment as they say two white wires what do you do now if you just hook up your light you know, one to each white wire. If one of the wires is hot and one of the wires is neutral, which let's hope it is, then you have a 50-50 chance of reverse polarity. And you never want reverse polarity. You want the black connected to the hot and you want the white connected to the neutral. And there's a strange thing going on with the grounding as well. The two ground wires from the two cables are connected together but the ground wire from the light was not connected together with those two ground wires and the metal box is not bonded to bond the box you need a ground wire that is attached to the metal box and that way the box is protected by the grounding system of the house so which problem do i work on first the grounding or finding out which of the two white wires are hot. I would say start with the grounding because the circuit breaker is off right now and you need the circuit breaker off to work on the grounding, but you need the circuit breaker on to find out which wire is hot. So that saves you a trip to the panel and so forth. So we're gonna start working on the grounding. Today's metal boxes, of course, come with an area where you can screw a 1032 green grounding screw into the box and secure a bonding wire. But these old metal boxes didn't have a place to screw a grounding terminal. So I'm going to drill and tap a threaded 1032 hole into the metal box. This is my 1032 drill and tap bit. And I'll go ahead and drill and tap a hole in the old metal box. Here I've securely fastened a green grounding screw to the metal box and here I've put the ground wires in a Wago lever nut and I've left a space so that I can add the ground wire from the light to it. Now with the circuit breaker on and the switch that controls the light on I will test to see which white wire is hot. By test this wire is the hot wire, so I'm going to wrap it in black electrician's tape to redesignate it as a hot wire. And here I've wrapped the hot wire with black electrician's tape. And I'll do a quick voltage test. And it comes out to 116.5 volts between the hot and neutral wires with the light switch on. And a quick voltage test between the hot and the ground shows about the same amount of voltage. So we're set. We're ready to go. I'm going to turn off the circuit breaker and install the sconce. The sconce has a ground wire, which I'm going to hook up with the other ground wires in the grounding Wago lever nut. But it has two lights. So it has two white wires and two black wires. So I'm going to use three conductor Wago lever nuts for both the neutrals and the hots. Here you can see the little grounding wire from the sconce connected together with the other ground wires in that five conductor Wago lever nut. And to your left you can see that I have the two white wires from the sconce and the white house wire connected together in a three conductor Wago lever nut. And in the middle you can see that I have the two black wires from the sconce connected together with the black house wire which is switched and that's the one that we redesignated as black. Now I'll push the wires back into the box, then I'll mount the sconce, and then I'll put on the little cap screws. There's two little cap screws that have to be screwed on to fasten the sconce to the cross piece. Always check for level. Okay, let's try her out. There it is, works great. 
So the moral to the story is, if you see two wires that you're hooking a lighter or something to that are the same color, you just can't tell them apart. Maybe it's really old wiring and they both are gray. Or in this case, they were both white. Okay, stop and make a test and find out which is which. Because you never want reverse polarity. That's a dangerous situation. And as far as grounding, it always seems like there's a way to improve grounding. <laughs> I'll put links in my video description for the Fluke voltage detector, the Fluke 117 electrician's meter, the ideal tap and die set, and if you happen to be a student, I'll put a link where you can get free Amazon Prime for six months. Thanks. I hope this video was helpful.